For 25 years, Listen has developed Soundcheck, the most powerful and versatile audio test system available. Soundcheck introduced many firsts, including new algorithms and support for complex audio test applications. While other systems play catch up, we're proud to announce yet another upgrade, Soundcheck 18. Soundcheck 18 adds new features with an emphasis on automation and simplicity. New additions include improved automation, plug and play with Listen hardware, simplified gain control, improved sample rate management, new digital I.O. control, MEMS interface control, TED support, and Wasapi driver support. Let's take a look. Soundcheck has supported external control via TCP IP for several versions. This is a powerful capability to externally control Soundcheck from any platform in any programming language. If you're interested in external control, review the TCP IP section of the user's manual and explore the installed external control examples. The new sequence parameter feature allows you to pass test configuration data to the memory list from external programs using TCP IP. For example, you can store parameters like limits, test level, and test signal externally, so single sequence can be used for multiple products. This simplifies your sequence and number of sequences to maintain, particularly useful on the production line. I'm going to run an example automation sequence from a Python script. This sequence and script install with Soundcheck 18 and provides an example of this powerful capability. Before I run the script, note there are parameters that I can change in the sequence, including test level, start frequency, stop frequency, and limits. I'll run the script and we'll take a look at our sequence. The magic happens in the configure sequence window. You can now define sequence parameters that save to the memory list. Once defined, Soundcheck can use these parameters in a sequence step. In this case, test level, start frequency, and stop frequency are used in the stimulus step. I lock the X and Y axis of the graph and run again so you can clearly see how we can easily change sequence parameters on the fly with the Python script. I'll change test level, start frequency, and stop frequency, and note how the graph updates and the memory list values take direct input from the script. There are many use cases for this feature. The obvious is that you can maintain a single test sequence and run separate scripts for different models of your device under test. You can also define your own memory list items and perform conditional steps in your test sequence. This is an often requested feature and we're proud to offer it in Soundcheck 18. Soundcheck 18 now supports true plug and play with Listen and Portland Tool and Die hardware. Setup is much faster, especially in production setup environments. With true plug and play, configuration time is minimized, particularly with multi channel audio interfaces. Input and output channels will auto populate with parameters such as sampling rate and calibration values. Hardware items are stored and immediately recognized when connected, and Soundcheck will default to the connected device. When substituting devices of the same type, Previous configurations are reused and sequence configurations do not need to be updated. For example, in this configuration, I can connect a different Amp Connect or DCC1448, and Soundcheck will auto detect the hardware and map channels accordingly. This means you can save a hardware configuration and load it onto multiple test stations for faster deployment. You can also easily move Listen hardware between test stations. Simplified gain control with the supported Listen interface has been added for faster development time. Auto read and auto range settings are accessible as drop down options in the gain menu of the acquisition editor. Auto read will auto adjust gain based on manual input from the user. For example, I'll run the sequence with the acquisition set to auto read and I'll manually set the input gain on my amp connect to minus 20 dB. When I run the sequence, Soundcheck will report the max FSD, the digital headroom of the audio interface. I'll adjust the gain and note how the level changes.
Auto Range automatically identifies the correct gain to optimize your measurement signal to noise. Auto Read is also available in virtual instruments. Whether in an acquisition step or virtual instrument, you can quickly adjust gain without the need for a hardware message step, saving valuable development time. Improved sample rate management makes testing with different sampling rates in Soundcheck faster and easier. Many audio interfaces have latency that is dependent on sampling rate, and Soundcheck improves communications with these devices. Users can specify latencies for various sampling rates, either by entering manually or importing from a file. Then, Soundcheck will automatically use the correct latency for the specified sampling rate. Lastly, when using WAV files, you no longer have to manually set sampling rate to match the sampling rate of the WAV file. This makes it simpler to switch between WAV files and useful for anyone making measurements using stimulus WAV signals like speech or music. AmpConnect's digital I.O. ports can be used for communicating with relay boards, lighted pass-fail indicators, foot switches, and other devices. And Soundcheck 18 digital I.O. controls have a separate message step. This means that all controls for I.O. settings are completely separate from other AmpConnect settings, minimizing the possibility of other parameters such as gain or routing being accidentally modified. The new settings offer a uniform appearance and switching scheme across all devices with digital I.O. control so that sequence written, for example, with NI hardware are easily converted to work with AmpConnect. The Portland Tool and Die MEMS microphone interfaces can now be fully controlled from within Soundcheck. This offers faster setup of the measurement interfaces with Soundcheck, as well as greater measurement reliability as the device settings can be built into the test sequence. Sequences using the R&D grade DCC1448 interface will also work seamlessly with the production grade PQC1448, making it much simpler to transition sequences from the R&D lab to the production line. TED's support with compatible listen hardware will enable automatic identification, configuration, and calibration of TED's microphones and accelerometers saving time on initial hardware setup and whenever hardware is changed. Soundcheck 18 now includes Wasapi driver support in Windows 10. This driver offers fully multi-channel support, allowing each individual channel to display separately in the hardware editor rather than as channel pairs. Thank you for watching. Soundcheck 18 is available to registered users with an active support contract. If you are interested in upgrading or would like a more in-depth demo of Soundcheck 18 features, please contact your sales engineer or listen rep.